Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Casual dining and finger foods go together just like peanut butter and jam. That being said, everyone around the world likes to eat with their hands. Bite-side foods are fun and convenient. There's a delicious Asian finger food that I love to make during summer. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my goi kun, which is Vietnamese summer rolls. There are so many reasons why I love this recipe. It's flavorful, it's fun, it's colorful, it's crunchy, it's healthy and satisfying. With my yummy dipping sauce, this is a great finger food you just have to try this summer. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll make the dipping sauce first. So we'll cut this little guy very fine. As you can see, I handle the bird's eye chili wearing gloves. Not because I want to look fancy, but because I don't want any oil from that pepper on my fingers. And I don't want to jump up and down from the burning pain. So we'll transfer it to a mixing bowl and to this we'll add ginger, rice vinegar, sesame oil, sweet chili sauce, hoisin sauce and fresh lime juice. We'll whisk the ingredients until well combined and set aside. Now we'll poach the shrimp. If you don't use any, just skip this step. So we'll combine water, enough to poach one lemon quartered old peppercorn as well as two old cloves of garlic then we'll bring it to a boil when it does we'll simply add the shrimp and leave them there for only a minute and a half not more than that otherwise the texture will be rubbery we'll quickly remove from the heat and using a spider strainer we'll transfer them to an ice bath so it stops cooking the shrimp We'll also use some of the liquid that the shrimp we're cooking in, about a third of a cup. And this liquid will be to dip in the rice paper later on. Try to use a shallow bowl or a pie plate, just like what I'm using now. Then we'll set aside to cool off. Next, we'll prep the rest of the ingredients. In this recipe, we are using romaine, so we'll have to cut the spine of the lettuce and keep only the leaves. And why we're doing that? It's because the rice paper is so thin, it might tear it. Also, we don't want anything way too hard in our rolls. Now, for the remaining ingredients, we'll simply cut into julienne. This is very important to have all the ingredients ready before we start the rolling process. Here we have carrots, orange and red peppers, cucumber, red cabbage, cilantro, chives, basil, mint, romaine leaves, and poached shrimp. So we're good to go. All right, so here is a rice paper. There's a soft side and then a rougher side to it. So we'll dip it in the liquid that is now at room temperature with the rougher texture up. Some say that it doesn't matter which side. I personally prefer that way. Then we'll gently rotate it until it gets soft enough to be pliable. Don't leave it too long, otherwise it would be hard to fill without tearing the paper. Next, we'll lightly wet our working surface. Is it necessary? Eh, probably not, but I find it stick less when I do that. Then we'll transfer the rice paper over, making sure it's all nice and flat. We'll place three shrimps about a third of the way on, so it makes it easier to roll later. Then we'll proceed with the rest of the ingredients, trying to stack them nicely. There's no specific measurement to this. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. When we're done filling, we'll fold one side over, trying to keep the ingredients tight together as much as possible and then fold the sides in and finish rolling. It is the same technique as rolling the dolmades or burritos. And when we're done, this is what it should look like, a nice tight roll. 
repeat the same process with the other five rice papers. If we're not ready to serve them right away, wrap them loosely with cling film and leave them at room temperature for not more than two hours. And my friends, this is how Vietnamese summer rolls. This delicious Asian finger food is the perfect appetizer on the course to have this summer. With a sweet and spicy dipping sauce, it is a flavorful meal to share with friends and family. Very easy to make. This recipe is healthy, light, and refreshing. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!